what is sm50 work process overview sm50 work process overview what you can check in this work process overview sm50 so what are the things you can check in sm50 so you can check the number of work process and the type of work process will be having different different types of work processes and every process at operating system level it will have process id if you want to kill this work process at operating system level you have to kill this process id and the work process status and we are having some uh, cpu time and what program it is running the priority and uh, which client you logged in and the user everything you can get all the details from this screen sm50 here the important thing is work process status what are the work process status we have waiting running waiting, running, running stop or... stopped ended shut down standby five things uh, five or six things waiting running stopped ended shut down standby waiting means uh the work process waiting ready to serve right running means the work process is occupied and it is uh, processing something that is called as a running state so if it is waiting condition no problem okay so your system is free running means which program it is running what is the priority and which user is running in which client from how long it is running that you have to take into consideration stopped means some work process will stop for some time why means a uh, stop or you can say on hold why they stop means uh, there will be some reasons you will get if the work process is on hold or stopped condition you will be having some reason here what all the reasons we are having means uh, there are a few types of reasons cpic cpic the reason is cpic second one is rfc priv enq upd these things you can find here so if it is cpic means this is waiting for some network kind of things this work process waiting to for communication it is unable to do the communication that is the reason it is on hold so cpic means if the the problem with the message server problem with your network problem with the gateway these are communication mediums right message server gateway and your network if you are having problem with these things your work process should be on, will be on hold and the status will be cpic rfc the second reason is rfc rfc means uh, this work process is waiting for some rfc connection means it is uh, trying to connect to some other system then what you need to check you have to check which rfc connection it is referring to and here you will get entire details uh, the rfc details everything and you have to check whether that system is up and running or not whether that rfc connection is connecting to that or not how you check rfc connections by using which t code sm59. sm59 by using sm59 you can check all the t rfcs whatever the rfc here it is showing just a double click on that and say connection test if it is connecting means the target system is up and running and you are able to connect like that you have to do the troubleshooting part cpic means you have to check whether your network connectivity is good and message server and gateway is running or not and if it is rfc you have to check in sm59 and another reason is enq nq means there might be some log if, if for example this work process going to update something that object is having log then where you check go to sm12 and check whether any lock entries are stopping this work process that is the reason it is waiting for that it is on hold it is trying to uh, uh, it is trying to do something to that and it is having lock that is the reason it is waiting so what you need to do you need to check in sm12 whether they have got any locks if there are locks you have to remove that then that problem will be solved upd upd it is trying to update something but is unable to do that means then what you have to check whether your update is active or not whether you are whether having update work process available or not that you have to check okay and prime 
if it is the reason uh, if uh, unhold reason is prime means you, this work process has gone into private memory then you have to think about uh, tuning your memory parameters so whether work process is waiting means fine running means you have to check from how much time it is running if it is running for so long time then if seriously you will get a uh, the program name here whether it is a standard program or a customized program if it is standard program it is taking so much long time and then talk with the user who is the user which client what you are doing there and get the user details from sm04 which session he is running and yesterday we have seen all those things and talk with the if it is a customized program if the customized program is having some bugs some errors then also it won't to complete then you have to talk with that user regarding that program okay if it is running if it is on hold why the reason reasons are cpic rfc prime enq and what is another thing upd update so if it is cpic check your network connectivity message server and gateway if it is rfc check in sm59 whether target system is up and running or not and uh, that rfc connection is you know working fine or not sometimes what happens if somebody changes some users uh, password or that user is expired which you used in that rfc connection that also gets problem if that user got locked then also that rfc connection won't work prime means the work process has went into private memory so you have to think about uh, go to st02 check why it is going into private memory why it is utilizing this this much memory then you have to think about your memory parameters otherwise you have to sometimes it will be terminated automatically you have to wait for some time other other uh, or else you have to kill that work process manually and you have to restart that work process enq means some uh, it is a uh, time to do something but that object got logged already then you have to check in sm12 lock entries upd means it is waiting for update but that update work process is not available but that uh, your update uh, mechanism is not active then you have to check all those things that is what called as uh, stopped stopped means actually it is waiting for the process is stopped for an individual user one user is allocated to that he is stopped there process is waiting for a for doing some task that is what meaning stopped the next one is ended ended means what an error has terminated the process you got some error due to that error your process got terminated that is what you are ended then you have to restart that work process shutdown means process is shut down term process is terminated because of shutdown you shut down your system and you started your application but that process is not yet started then you try to restart that process sometimes it will be standby standby means uh, sometimes what happens one process is waiting to do some uh, uh, loading kind of things and uh, some executing some expensive statements at that time also it will be going to standby standby means you don't do that uh, it will go what it is doing what program it is doing then also you can check so work process status are waiting running stopped ended shut down standby when you restart the work process at when if it is ended if it is shut down you have to restart if it is standby you have to wait for some time and check what it is doing what actions it is doing exactly no the uh, work process is not on hold then the work process is running if it is running there will be some reason column will be there in that reason you will get sequential read okay uh, what else uh, you'll get roll in roll out sequential read means sequential read means if your database indexing you have to check your database indexing that is and swap ins and swap outs roll out roll in means you have to check your memory parameters you have to check your database level you have to check your memory parameters and you have to check your hard disk you have to look all these things if you are getting the information from the hard disk then also it will be in running for so long time it is taking some time if your database indexing is not good index means what you will be having all the tables and uh, index is, what is the index for your book so it will tell you which uh, topic is in which page right the same way every database has index so if you want to get any 
thing from the database first the request will go to index from index it will pick the exact location if that indexing is not properly configured what happens obviously it will take some time to uh, read the things that is what your sequential read if it is on hold check the reason if it is running the reason could be sequential read and roll in roll roll in roll out means tune your memory parameter sequential read means database related issues and uh, another read will be there what is that sequential read and uh, something is there that technical word i am not getting if that is the problem the problem with your memory your your swap memory you have to look into these things is it fine with everyone sm50 i'll come to that sm50 yeah. one more time